Hello and welcome to this week's unboxing. Uh, this week coming out is a new Assault Squad, a couple of upgrade packs, or four in total, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. We've not had all our delivery coming yet, sadly, so this is going to be a quick unboxing with what we've had in so far. So this, uh, today's going to be Ultramarine upgrades and Space Wolves upgrades, uh, and then tomorrow we'll be doing another unboxing with the Assault Squad, Blood Angels and Dark Angels uh, upgrades and also be able to talk about next week's unboxing uh, we're not allowed to talk about it today though but tomorrow is absolutely fine so well uh well i well jack it will be doing the rest of the presentation i will be over here furiously putting together uh one of the new sets so we're going to be doing the ultramarines uh chapter champion um so i'm going to be using bits of the uh commander uh box set and then when jack does the unboxing for the first one he's going to hand me over the sprue and hopefully by the time Jack finishes doing his, ch his chat, I'll have a model ready to go with the new Upbreaker kits. So I hand you over to the very capable hands of Jack Shannon, who is first and foremost a Space Marine loyalist, though recently has been dabbling with the Xenos. That's only because uh, in 40k, Marines aren't quite as good as they used to be. But maybe with um, these new upgrade sets and upcoming releases, they'll be better. So I'll hand it over now. Alright guys, All right. I guess we'll start off with the Ultramarines. 13th Legion. But don't listen to what those people say. They're not the Smurfs. They are the uh, Warriors of McCrag, right? All right? Let's take a look. So, if we take a look, if it comes into focus for us. Huh. Right, so, you know, it's straight off, you get a pair of swords. Very reminiscent of the Gladius, the like Roman legionary weaponries. It's obviously what the Ultra means. So. Uh, motif is. You get some really cool shoulder pads on this set. Uh, these ones up here, we can get these on if he wants to play along. Yeah. Alright, unfortunately, signed to not want to focus on these bits. But this one here, uh, number three, it's very reminiscent of Mark III, funny enough, with that curved shoulder pad uh, on the top with the dots. Uh, you get Quite a good selection of heads as well. Like this guy's got a nice beard on him. Look at him. Uh, this guy's got the Ultramarine symbol straight in his forehead. And you've got these cool crests for the captain. And this one's my favourite one. The company champion's head. It's obviously the um, chapter champion from uh, the Ultramarine Honor Guard set with Manus Cargo. And you get this really nice chest plate which has the Ultramarine symbols all across it. I can't remember the name of them, but I like to call them the tassels with the Ultramarine symbols on them. So quite a cool set. The shoulder pads are really good. I think they'd be nice to put on tactical squads because you can keep these ones with the raised edges for sergeants. Um, mainly like stern guard as well would be good for it. So that is the Ultramarine set. So look at the Space Wolves. Clearly the commander, he don't, actually doesn't have spare arms for just putting the swords on, so I'm going to have to cut off his main weapons so I can fit in the little gladius of swords. So I think, I'll not build a commander in years, I'm meant to use actual normal marine parts to help him out. Alright, let's give hand. Let's take a look Yoink. at the Space Wolf set. So first off, the biggest thing you notice is this awesome cloak. So obviously, they're taking on the old the pre-Space Wolf pack sets, we've got these nice cloaks. Um, get a nice meaty chain sword, which is very reminiscent of, I think it's Frostfang is the name of it? The Ragnar Black main weapon, which is what this set could be really useful for, is making a plastic version of Ragnar Black main. He's got, you got the Ragnar company as the company symbols for the space on special shoulder pads. Stick this bit on, this bat pack, give him Frostfang and there you go. So a nice classic black, 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 uh, Ragnar black mane to leave this company in. You get this really nice frost axe, which the Space Wolves always have nice weapons. Why didn't the Imperial Fist have nice weapons? One day, one day. Get these really nice totems, reminiscent of all the Space Wolves. Yo, you got a nice totem or backpack edition on the Ultramarine set as well. So these are nice little additions they've been added in. 
get this cool snarling head of a space wolf. Which has always seemed a little funny to me, but it's pretty cool. And you get, again, you get these nice stylized shoulder pads. That one's quite Mark III ish. Um, it's nice that they're, they're giving a hint back to the Legion days of the Space Marines these days. But yeah, nice set. It's good always to add a little uh, ornation to um, space the uh, Space Marine sets. Keeps them in line with your chosen chapter. Right, I'm not done yet, so we're going to pause the video and I'll finish this guy off and I'll show you the final model. Uh, so back in a second. So here we are. This is the Spruce Remnants and this here is our chapter champion Titanus. You know, you've got a cool Roman name. Romanish name, I guess. So, little alterations from the normal commander set to make him more ultramarine. You've got your old, good old ultramarine shoulder pad. Give him the two Gladius weapons. So he's a monster in a melee combat. And with this nice um, chest plate with the... I'm going to keep calling them tassels. Can you, anyone in the comments know the actual name of them? If you can drop it down for us. And this awesome backpack with the two Imperial Quillers and the Ultramarine symbol. Makes really nice little alterations to commanders and sergeants. And even just squad members, just to give a little variation. And it's always nice that you know, adds more to the uh, gene um, Legion chapters. So yeah, there we go. Nice little alterations. Well, cheers for watching, guys. And so tomorrow we'll have another video coming up with the other upgrade packs, uh, the Assault Squad, which looks a little, which looks really cool, and Jack will be able to tell you about the upcoming release, which I think a lot of people will be excited about. Cheers for watching. Bye.